Yo, 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 what's up everyone? So today I have a deck for you called Ancient Blades. It's a standard Demon Hunter deck. And I'll explain to you how it works. So the reason why I like this deck is because it has a lot of clear. Uh, because it has a lot of weapons. Um, and it's hero power. Plus it's got a lot of, you know, options to go face. So, I think two cards, I think Consume Magic is definitely a must-have in any Demon Hunter. Because you're always going to have to silence the Demon, I mean, a minion, uh, you know, maybe it has Taunt, or whatever. This is always good. And if it's an Outcast, you can draw a card. Mana Burn is also, I think, a great card for gaining tempo. Um... You can play it on curve or you can wait. But, you know, playing it on curve is the best. Uh, Spirit Jailer is always good because we need those soul fragments for other cards in our deck. Plus, it's a 1 3. Twin Slice is great because it gives your hero plus 2 attack and then adds another one. So it's, you know, it's like 4 attack for 1 mana. So we got 2 of those. Chaos Strike is great because of the drawing a card and it gives you plus two attack. So you can use that. Maybe you want to clear a small minion or a minion that, you know, and you can still draw a card. <clears throat> soul Shear is great just for the uh, clear and the Soul Fragments shuffled. Aldrachi Warblades is great because we're going to need Lifesteal if we're going to be hitting face or if we're going to be trading with minions. And we can have ways to boost our attack so that we can get more lifesteal. Blade Dance. Now this is the master. You got two of these. So because we have a lot of weapons in our deck and we can give them, uh, we can boost their attack. This is great for clearing enemy minions with uh, that have high health. So we got two of those. I Beam is great for the lifesteal in the board clear. Now I think this is a good one. Fell Steel Executioner. Now, when it's corrupted, it becomes a 4 3 weapon. That's pretty good. I mean, I think this has been a really great in my deck because it's a weapon with 4 attack and 3 durability, and then we can use it in conjunction with uh, Blade Dance, you know. So, definitely good. We have Kane Sun Fury for the charge and the Ignore's Taunt. Two Marrow Slicers to shuffle in Soul Fragments. Two Glaivebound Adepts that can go face after we attack or exchange with a minion. <clears throat> this one I like too, Soul Shard Lapidary. This is a strong card. Destroy one Soul Fragment in our deck to gain plus 5 attack. That's really big. And plus you're getting a 5-5 five, five minion on top of that. I also have Priestess of Fury because she's going to deal 6 damage at the end of the turn, randomly split. And if they have no minions, it goes to face. If they have some, well, hopefully it clears it. And Sociolo Sociologist Melissa because we have a lot of Soul Fragments and she's great for clear. Um, so this is definitely an early game tempo deck. What you want to do is tempo everything out if you can. Clear minions if you have to. But you want to go face when you can and keep on damaging them. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy this deck. I'll leave the deck code in the description below. Um, Demon Hunter is a class that I really don't play a lot. So this deck might not be the best. But at least it'll help you get practice with the class and familiarize yourself with the cards. Alright guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace! Versus Jaina! You asked for it. This ends now!
My business. is mine! Our enemies will fall! Nobody move! Ah, no one gets hurt! Runs out on me.
What to do? What to do? Illithin versus Jaina. You asked for it. This ends now. Demons. Time grows short. done. is mine! <laughs> Everyone's a winner.
I'm not ready for this. for this come in come in everyone's a winner you win this <laughs> 